Hello, my name is Logan Williams. I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Degree of Science, majoring in Psychology at the University of Canterbury, and I have the aspiration to complete a Clinical Psychology PhD. My passion in life is to follow in Sir Paul's footsteps and enhancing New Zealand's environment through economic prosperity towards the betterment of all. Today, I'll be presenting my concept of Byron, a concept which strives to revolutionise the currently implemented paper manufacturing industry by adopting Didymo as an alternative resource for paper mm -hmm. pulp. This will hopefully overarchingly enhance New Zealand both culturally, economically, socially and environmentally. One of the largest issues faced globally is mass deforestation, with an estimated 17 billion cubic feet of timber harvested each year. This has distal negative ramifications for the entire globe, attributing to the formation of 17% of all greenhouse gas emissions. The displacement and loss of habitats for millions of species leading to mass extinction and the destructions of forests which are central to who we are as humanity, providing us with oxygen, food, shelter and water. 40% of all timber harvested through deforestation is implemented within the paper manufacturing industry. This map demonstrates how ingrained deforestation is within our culture as humanity as we have deforestated much of South America, Africa and Oceanic continents, nearly half of the globe. Now let's go to a more national issue, Didymo. Didymo is an invasive waterborne algae which is introduced within New Zealand. It currently is prolifically spread throughout the South Island and our native waterway systems. This algae creates a thick coat over the riverway systems. This prevents larvae of insects from being produced, thus detrimentally impacting the entire ecological system, threatening our native flora and fauna and having major detrimental effects to clean green image of New Zealand and who I identify as a person. So, what do these two issues have in common? Up until now, not very much. But I would argue that one of the key characteristics that make the Didymo such an excellent invasive species can also lend its hand as a resource for paper manufacturing. When walking along the Tekapo Basin, I came across Didymo in a hibernation state. When Didymo is exposed out of the water, it turns into a desiccant state, very similar to this. Um, and this state is very, very similar to paper pulp in its raw form. Other underlying characteristics such as shape, texture, durability, rapid growth and germination also mean that Didymo is far superior at being cultivated and thus implemented as a source of paper manufacturing. I shall subsequently propose a dual process model of cultivation. In the first instance, Didymo could be extracted and cultivated in large acrylic tanks on factory premises. Thus, Didymo can be grown, chemically processed and turned into paper in a fully automated system. Upon creating a business foundation, Didymo can then reinvest into New Zealand's environment by extracting and restoring our pristine ecological systems. These can be adopted through filtration and suction techniques. Um, so biome has many tangible benefits to New Zealand. Most prominently is economic benefits, as the paper manufacturing industry is estimated to be worth $402 billion. This would have major ramifications to New Zealand and is highly lucrative. This is also directly associated with social determinants as it leads to the social prosperity of New Zealanders, enabling 1,000 jobs, thousands of jobs to New Zealanders working within these factories, and enabling us to move away from the dependency on the dairy industry. Cultural determinants are also central to bio. As, as a New Zealander, I identify with our environment and the clean and green image. I take pride in that, and bio moves and serves as a beacon for this sort of nationalism. Key considerations, so what do we have to look at? What are the downsides of biome? What are the risks? So in the first instance, one of the major arguments would be, well, does paper actually have a future in our society? People will say, well, technology advancements are gonna completely get rid of paper. Well, actually, I would argue that cardboard, packaging, and other uses of paper 
are going to persist throughout much of humanity within 100 to 200 years. Other considerations are also toxicity levels, um, chemical processes adopted currently by paper manufacturing include bleaching and other chemical processes. If you adopted that same infrastructure but implemented biome as an alternative resource, these chemical processes neutralise DDMO, ultimately killing it and preventing it from spreading throughout our waterways. In conclusion, biome serves as a beacon for ecological betterment throughout the globe and nationally. Humans are currently destroying the world that I live in, and I invite you to share my dream with me. It's not only our duty, but our privilege to improve the world that we're in, and I think Wyoming is the way towards the future. Thank you for your time.